Belinda Mason has devoted her career to challenging perceptions through images. Nearly 10 years ago, Fortune turned her towards a project on disability that has changed the lives of her children, her friends and herself. The Intimate Encounters project started in 1998 and it was really just by accident. I was you know, a commercial photographer and I was asked to go and photograph a conference about sexuality and disability and there was a man called Dominic Davies who'd come over from the UK to um, speak about the issue. I knew nothing at all about it. And um, I was just, just running late for it and I had to run down the front and put my camera together and start taking photographs. And um, so I started to take the photographs and just after the first few minutes passed, I turned around and I looked into the crowd and there was a sea of people. There was no standing room. There were layers and layers of people everywhere who'd come to hear. Dominic speak and I also noticed that the diversity of the people who were in the room and the and the cross-section of, of um, people with disabilities and um, after the after the conference I walked up to Dominic and I said if I could encompass all of your passion in in a photograph in a single photograph what would it be and he couldn't answer the question and so we tracked each other down afterwards a few days later and and decided that we would create an image that did encompass his passion about the rights of people with disabilities to have sexual expression. It sort of just opened up a whole new world. And then, um, you know, the funny thing is that, um, as, you know, the, I've got some of my greatest friends from from doing that work and also from the work that have continued after that. This is a view mirrored by Denise Beckwith, a woman who Belinda met through intimate encounters and who has become her closest friend. It's really amazing because um, Belinda and I have travelled with the project because the project Intimate Encounters, the exhibition has travelled extensively around the world. So I've had the opportunity to go to Barcelona we went to New York. It was exhibited in um, the Museum of Sex, and I and New Zealand, and I've had the opportunity to travel with Belinda. And the one thing that I find really amazing is that Belinda just takes you into her world, and she accepts you as you are. And she's a woman who's, you know, just grown up in the. Adelaide suburbs and but she now lives in the northern suburbs of Sydney but she's never forgotten where she's come from and she just she doesn't judge people on what they look like or where they come from she just gets to know them and that has been the most amazing thing for me her kids and her and even her mum has taken me into her life so, so often Belinda and I have been mistaken as sisters because we have that sort of bond and that sort of relationship where she knows about my life, I know about hers. But, and we're there for one another. And she, it's really funny because she's never ever referred to my disability. And that's the one thing that I admire about Belinda. She just sees me as a person who contributes has studied and works. So we talk about, and a person who has relationships and friendships that are normal. So she doesn't see me as anything special or brave or inspirational. And those are the three things that I hate most of all. Belinda's photography has had a lasting impact on many lives, not least her own. But the biggest impact, it seems, has been on first impressions.